So what I'm doing here is uh, kind of prepping the skid plate itself. I've decided that I'm going to take the letters off, these red letters, and they're held on really by some uh, double-sided tape on the back. I've already got one off as you can see. I'm just using a trim tool and going around the edges. These are just really locator pins on the back. They don't really hold it that well. Um, and hopefully saving enough of the tape that I can just uh, put it back down. Doesn't look like I screwed it up too badly. And what I've got now, this is a uh, Rust-Oleum truck bed coating, black. You guys can see and hopefully it's matte like this uh, cap would have you think it is. I hope so. That's the first coat. I should have a mask on, you know, uh, but I don't. I'm gonna in a minute. But that's the first coat. Uh, looks pretty good, I think. We'll let that dry for about two minutes, like the directions say. A little more paint on me. And uh, then we'll spray it again. Let's take a look. This is the finished product. Uh, minus the letters, of course. They will go right there. Uh, but you can see it came out pretty good, I think. It's still wet, so you might see some shinier places, but uh, I think it came out really well. It's got kind of a textured look to it. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but uh, it does have kind of a textured look to it. There's that plate. It came out really nice, I think. Uh, so I'm happy with it. Once it uh, completely dries, we'll be able to stick the... Uh, lettering back on there. Time now, we need to put the uh, the letters in. I have those over here. These actually, and I showed this in the video before when I was doing the painting on this, but they do have a little, these are really just um, locator pens, if you will. They do have a little clip that pushes in and out, uh, but they, they're they pretty flimsy. I mean, you can move them pretty easy with your hands, so they're not really designed to hold these in. That's the job of this double-sided tape on the back. Uh, which is still very sticky, so instead of trying to pull all that off and maybe damaging the letter, I've decided to just go ahead and stick them on and see what happens. Could be a mistake, maybe they'll fly off, I don't think so, but let's go ahead and uh, get those on. And you just push these through, it's pretty simple. Same procedure, of course. It's going to replace this thin, look how thin this thing is, skid plate that's on the front right now. We've only got four bolts. There's two here in the front and two here in the back to remove. And then to get the rear skid plate off, we've got a bolt up in here, a bolt up in here, and then these two bolts back here. And I believe these two bolts back here need to be reused. Everything else will be replaced by bolts that came with the new skid plates. First up, I'm gonna remove the rear skid plate. Uh, it takes a 12 millimeter socket. Again, four bolts here, here, up in this indentation here, and up in here. And we're gonna start up here. The most difficult ones to get to, I guess. You can't really see them in there. Not working with the impact. I guess we're going to have to employ a little uh, old-fashioned muscle. Let me grab a, uh, a ratchet, see if we can't break those things loose. Okay, let's employ some people power. Surprised they were that tight, to be honest, but somehow they weren't. I don't know why my... my Ratchet wasn't taking them off. Maybe it was, and I was just too impatient. Let's try the other one. Yeah, they're not that tight. I don't know. It was kind of weird. Yeah, they are not that tight. That was weird. 
I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and use a ratchet to finish them off. Or an impact, I should say. They're just little bolts. Nothing special. Yeah, there actually was one hook, you can see right here, uh, that was in this hole. I suppose that might have held it up a little. But, anyway, we've got the rear off, so we'll set this thing aside. Now, let's move up, uh, up to the front. Okay, on this one, there are two hooks up here in the front that this thing will pull down and dangle, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the two rears first. see it just rotates down like so and will just hang there so that makes it easy to handle go ahead and lift this off here we go that takes care of the uninstall of the existing skid plates or skid plates now we'll go ahead and grab the new one get it up here uh, because it does weigh uh, a few pounds actually and then uh, we'll see about getting it installed. Next up, time to remove uh, a couple of these frame bolts. Um, there's one here on the left, driver or passenger side, and then the second one in here on the driver's side. And then moving on down this brace, we have one in the back here we have to remove, and one here we have to remove. And the reason for that is because the screws that come on the new skid plate that you can see, or the bolts rather, actually go into those holes and then two other ones there in the back. Next up, we just have to sit the new skid plate uh, up and I'm gonna try to finagle that a little bit and uh, go ahead and start bolting it in. All right, got it all set up to go ahead and get it installed. Um, I used my bungees back here, of course, to hold the rear up so that I can just push the front up and engage, if you will, the bolts here. Um, in these holes and you're supposed to do this front first then back and then center um, And the reason is so that it doesn't bind Okay, we've rustled it all up there I will tell you that once you have the front bolt secure then you're supposed to move to the back and there's a lot of Spring in this thing if you will you really have to push up on it to be able to get these bolts in We did it in order we did the front then the back then I actually, to be honest, I did put the middle ones in loosely just to hold it up while I wrestled with these back bolts here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, torque it down. We do have the front ones in as well. And uh, then I'll come back and show you the finished uh, product. Okay, it is done. It is up. And this is what it looks like. Um, I love the look of it. Again, way back when I first bought this, um, I didn't care for that kind of cream, pewter color, whatever it was, and that's why I painted mine black. It's a pretty simple install. It's just bulky. Would work better if you had a couple of hands um, to help. Hey, a couple of features on this real quick. We do have the panel here to remove so that we can gain access uh, to the oil filter. So you don't have to remove the whole skid plate. Um, and then back here is, of course, the uh, drain plug. For the oil so you don't have to take the thing off it's up there I did touch up the bolts from uh, scraping them and I know it'll get chipped and stuff um, as the truck is used but you know hey when you first get it on there uh, you want it to look good from the beginning I give it about a eh, probably about a two and a half as far as difficulty and that's only because of the weight otherwise it's a pretty simple install thanks for watching stay safe out there and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.